Hello, my dear sensitive person or empath or sensitive person. Welcome to another another video reading here. Uh, as you can see, we have a love reading with twin flame or soulmate energy. So as usual, this reading is for those of you empaths and highly sensitive people who have been emotionally abused by a narcissist and you want to be manifesting and attracting true love, real love in your lives. So as usual, you take what resonates. This is a general reading and I would love to have your comments or questions if you have any. And don't forget that you can always book your own private reading with me if you're interested. Uh, that is very easy. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can um, buy an Instagram DM rating for 10 euros. So that is for love life. So you will get quick guidance. But if you want a longer reading, you can book via a video call or email. But yeah, so uh, remember to read the description box below this video. So uh, you will have more information. If you're watching this from Instagram, um, you can go to my bio link. So or you can just DM me, you know, so it's simple as that. But yeah, so let's just dive into the reading here. As you can see, we have a positive wedding message here. We have chemistry, we have attraction, we have love yourself first. You deserve love worth waiting for. So definitely there's chemistry, um, a strong attraction. So definitely this is a uh, twin flame or, or soulmate situation. But we have a warning sign here. So what I'm getting with this reading is that uh, you will connect with this person or you have connected with this person already and you're wondering about uh, what the future holds for you. Uh, you feel the attraction, the chemistry, definitely you feel that there could be love in the air between you two and this person has been definitely what you have been waiting for. But we have this warning sign, uh, deception, somebody is wearing a false mask. So <clears throat> with this reading, I'm picking up that this reading is for those of you uh, who need some healing. You need some healing for yourself or your partner needs some healing. Oftentimes soulmates or twin flame relationships are about healing, growing and learning. So this is no wonder <laughs> that we have this card here. So please don't be scared of it. It does not mean that the narcissist is coming back into your life. This reading is just that you or your partner needs to be doing some healing. And after that, you will be able to commit to one another. So after that, that you have gone through that healing process together or separately, uh, it doesn't matter, but as long as you have gone through that healing process, then you will be able to commit to each other fully and be wedded. So this person will definitely propose to you or you will propose to them. And there is a good life waiting for you two together. There's no doubt. We have so much uh, love energy here. We have so much positive of energy, you deserve love, you know, worth waiting for chemistry, attraction, uh, physical, emotional attraction and chemistry. But remember to love yourself first, okay? As usual, you need to love yourself first. You need to respect yourself first. So they will also respect you more and they need to respect themselves first, of course, as well. You know, you cannot have a relationship if you don't love and respect yourself. So everything starts with that. And that also helps that you don't attract a toxic relationship the more that you can just authentically love and respect yourself. And you're creating that, that good base for that relationship at the same time when you're more true to yourself. So very, very, very <clears throat> positive, a positive future, but you have to go through that healing process. So if you are experiencing a tough time with this person right now, uh, it just means that 
you or them just have to go through this healing process and healing is usually never um, easy, <laughs> you know. Uh, <clears throat> growing and healing and learning are really about pain, um, at least in some amounts, so you cannot be avoiding them. But you have to have faith, you have to have trust, you know, love yourself and just focus on the positive. And we have two bonus cards. We have compassion here and we have self-acceptance. So definitely the self-love is amplified now in this reading. You have to accept yourself fully and they have to accept themselves fully and heal all of the wounds. If there are inner child wounds, you know, any kinds of um, traumas, you know, all the negative energy, it has to be healed. There has to be love and balance and peace and harmony instead. You know, you cannot be carrying that negativity around with you. It won't work. It will only sabotage your relationship. And compassion is needed for yourself and for them. They need to be compassionate for themselves and you need to be compassionate towards yourself. So that is what I'm really <laughs> seeing here clearly with this reading, picking up that energy, that healing, forgiveness, compassion, balance and love just coming in, you know, because if you have, you have likely been abused, you have to be healing that, okay? And the new person cannot take that, you know, it's, it's not their issue, it's yours. So you both have to be dealing with your own issues so that you can work together for your future. So thank you so much for watching again this video. Hit the like button if you're watching this from YouTube. As usual, I always share, share these videos both on Instagram and YouTube. So wherever you're watching this from, either of them, thank you for being here. Thank you for following my work and being my client and um, sending you guys so much love as always. Namaste.